Hello? It is June 31st, which means I better shoot the June garden video before it becomes July 1st, which is equivalent to June 31st. Uh, anyway, it is sort of June, if you believe in June 31st, and um, things are happening out here. Um, but I'm, as usual, a little behind schedule, mostly because of the huge and very successful uh, memorial gathering uh, that, uh, that we had earlier this month. It was a great success, and there were many, many crowds uh, enjoying the garden. Uh, I don't know if I have some pictures that I might splice in here or not. Um, if so, I'll do it right about here. But uh, it was a great gathering, much more than I expected. I had so much help from family and uh, in getting ready and in, in helping during the event and everything. It was just uh, a grand celebration of my lovely wife and um, much, much better than I even anticipated. Um, but back to gardening here in, the, in June, uh, sort of June. Um, We'll start where we always start, of course, which is chives. And uh, there's a little, few of these little weedy guys in here. They're terrible. They go all over the place. Um, but the chives are otherwise doing well. Just the fact that uh, these blossoms, which were so bright and colorful in uh, May, have now, um, you know, reduced to this stage. And what I was trying to do is see if I can... I don't know if you can see that, see that little black seed there. That's uh, basically a chive seed, um, but they're doing fine. And this is the water feature that was uh, constructed by my sister Mary for me um, as part of the prep. And one of the plants is blooming nicely. And Frankie is exploring for whatever creatures he can find. Um, and even Jesse is joining in. And of course, everybody has their... Oh, hold on, Jesse. Oh, it's here. Don't go too far has their American flag scarfies on because we're uh, officially between Memorial Day and uh, July 4th, which is this Friday. So we're in the patriotic mood. And that brings us to bed one. And uh, the brassicas are doing okay. Uh, they're not exactly taking off, but um, that's cabbage in that row there. This is uh, broccoli in this row. And Brussels sprouts over here. Looks like we might have one uh, casualty in the Brussels sprouts uh, over there on the end. Um, but um, I don't know if I have a spare seedling that I'll be able to plant in there. <clears throat> anyway, next to the brassicas, we have uh, uh, summer squash. And if you look really closely, you can actually see a zucchini coming in. So it's always good to see summer squash actually coming in before the uh, before July 4th. Um, and here, there's a, a nice little uh, scallop squash um, also coming in. There's a little one there. I think that one's aborting. But this one is also coming in nicely. So uh, with a little bit of luck, we might consume them for one of the um, uh, July 4th barbecues. And uh, there, as you can see, is a little crookneck squash. And it's looking pretty good. I think it's going to come in. I'm glancing around to see if I can see any others, but I don't. But you can see that the plants themselves are quite uh, happy and green. Um, now I have mixed results here in the pole bean category. Um, and I never can remember which I have planted where. And I've lost some of my signs. But um, uh, this is an example of uh, what's not doing so hot. Um, they're just barely maybe uh, two feet tall at most. This is, guy is doing a little bit better. That's um, Vortex, and he's at least uh, beginning to climb up uh, the trellis here. These guys, oh, I you know didn't notice this until this very second, but isn't that, that's a nice bean right there. And, uh, oh, there's more, look at them. Uh, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the camera, but 
Um, see those beans right there? Those, those are all coming in pretty good. And this guy is definitely doing the best. And um, he's called uh, uh, Northeastern, so I guess he should be doing the best because that's where he is. But oh, I really, I hadn't even looked at this plant before and noticed how many, uh, oops, get out of the way there, how many nice beans are on there. Oh, those are almost consumable. And uh, then the last one here is sort of an in-between guy, but he also has uh, several beans. What kind is he? This is uh, Marvel of Venice, so it's going to be probably a uh, fava type bean or a flat pod. Um, so uh, mixed results in the beans, but uh, look at our um, <clears throat> sweet potatoes, uh, which um, Frankie is striking a pose. I mean, is that a handsome dachshund or what? Good boy. No, don't dig. You can't dig in the beds, boy. Can't dig in the beds, no? Uh, anyway, uh, sweet potatoes, they are just doing fine. Nice, deep, green leaves, and they're starting to uh, consume this bed. Uh, I got a little weeding to do here, like uh, this, because we don't want grass growing in between there. And there's a few weeds we got to pull out, but in general, they're doing very nicely. That brings us over to my shadow, which is right there. See, hi, hello everybody. And, uh, and corn, this is a silver queen. And the silver queen, uh, as well as the other corn that's in the garden proper, is looking a little anemic. Now I just fed these guys this past weekend and hopefully um, they'll, they'll come around. Um, but uh, when we get out to the external cord bend, you'll see what it's really supposed to look like. Now, remember last month when all the new peas were coming up and I was so excited? Well, another ill-timed rainstorm rendered that elation to dust. And uh, so I have planted the peas a third time this past weekend, and we'll see if we get anything. Meanwhile, the beets have continued to struggle for the same reason, uh, periodically just getting waterlogged, so I'll probably plant some more of them again this weekend. However, we have a very nice row of carrots coming in, and um, they seem to have done okay. I just thinned them, and um, that is, by the way, a volunteer marigold. There are several of them around. Um, so anyway, the carrots are looking good. The radishes, you know, who has trouble with radishes? Well, I do this year. Um, they, I mean, you can see some of these are flowering already, and, and but they've never, they never even produced a, um, you know, a good radish. So I'm not really sure whether it's because I used pine needles for a mulch and they don't like all that acidity or something. Well, I might try planting them again too. Um, meanwhile, I've got all these uh, big pots um, filled with a variety of things. Some, some are extra pepper pl um, plants like uh, these guys here. Some are planted from seed zinnias like those guys there. Uh, these are, I can't remember what they're called, but they're sort of sunflowery type things. Um, and they were a potted plant that we had at the memorial. Um, and uh, they've transferred quite nicely into uh, these big pots out here. And those are eggplants, because eggplant um, seedlings were so uh, anemic that I decided to just put them in uh, pots instead, and that's what that is too. We had a few strawberries survive. This is another one of those, um, um, somebody probably knows what these are, but I just can't remember the name. Um, and uh, it's doing fine, and look at this pepper plant, it's almost two feet tall uh, in this, um, planter, so that's nice. Onions, my three varieties are doing well. I'm due to feed them because um, they like to be fed, but uh, they're looking good and much better than they did last year too. And I planted them kind of tight, so um, uh, I'll be coming in and pulling some of those out probably again to uh, see if I can include them in a July 4th barbecue. And the potatoes is another strange story this year. I've got some potatoes that came up with the first planting, some potatoes that came up with the second planting, some that sort of came up, 
with the second planting and a few that didn't come up at all so I've replanted them again in the vacant spots but at least we have some and the ones that are coming up look pretty healthy as you can see I've already done some some healing up uh, so hopefully we'll get we'll get something out of these guys meanwhile the leeks just look fantastic except for I probably should have hilled them up a little bit more because they've got such tall stalks there that uh, are not going to be bleached white because they were filled up but uh, they're doing very well I also planted them a little bit thick so I can pull some early and um, okra you can see I've got these okra pods but look at how sad the plants are I mean they're just tiny uh, I think they've been um, hit by either slugs or caterpillars or some sort so uh, they look very dwarf but uh, at least we're getting some pods as opposed to the uh, kohlrabi which uh, Jesse's taking a look at there um, which uh, look pretty good except for I just didn't plant enough of them um, so those guys are coming along this one's a tiny one he's a little behind the times but these others look um, pretty pretty good so pretty happy with that uh, next in the order here are uh, uh, four varieties of peppers and uh, Jessie is making her way through those uh, I won't try to remember which are which uh, later on when they start to form a little bit more maybe I will but uh, you can see if you look closely there are some uh, peppers coming in so that's good there's a couple right there too see now <clears throat> next is tomatoes these look to be Juliet's and uh, there's a nice cluster right there coming in everybody is too early to consume yet but in the next few weeks uh, we'll get some and uh, these are uh, yes that means I, I don't remember what I planted and I can't see the label so um, but they look good whatever they are so uh, I'll see if I can't figure that out for the next garden video um, but they're doing fine also in between here are the um, ground cherries which we all love and uh, these two plants are both doing pretty well I stole the uh, the first one there's uh, there's one there it's not quite ready yet oh but this one looks like it might be ready let's see I'll just pop that out of there if I can one-handed and it's a little bit yellow as opposed to green which means it's close to being ready and in fact it is sweet and lovely I like it third variety of tomatoes in the um, uh, actual tomato bed I'll tell you what I mean by that in just a second and um, no I don't remember what these are either oh. Would expect me to plant them and remember what it is uh, anyway they're coming in nicely also and then in bed uh, what is this one two I have to count them every time don't I one two three four five bed five I had so many extra tomato seedlings that I just uh, I decided to plant them out here and uh, these haven't got cages on them um, they're just staked but um, they're uh, they're coming in just fine um, and then uh, finally this is um, what the heck is this this is Indian corn I believe um, also looking a little anemic um, compared to what you'll see in a minute and um, but they're, they're they're coming okay so um, my intent is to um, uh, feed these guys this weekend and hopefully uh, that'll help so uh, we're gonna make um, two more stops here uh, and uh, Frankie is, 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 is most definitely going to complain about this. Uh, excuse me while I step through the fence. <laughs> and the first stop we're going to make... I'll be right back, Frankie. You'll go, you're going to hear him in a second. The, <laughs> see what I mean? So, here's the first stop. And <clears throat> external corn. Look at this! Aren't they beautiful? I just... I love growing corn um, 
and uh, I just got in here and, and uh, newspaper and hay mulched uh, in there uh, in order to control the weeds um, and you can see the sun streaming in on them and my solar electric fence which uh, helps deter the, the deer and it works too it deters me I'll tell you that if I forget about it and touch the wires anyway you can see how nice and tall and green uh, these guys are and um, uh, that's that's what we like to see um, you know the saying is knee high by the 4th of July and these guys are already are, are going to exceed that for sure at least most of them are um, but just a, a beautiful sight I just love growing corn um, uh, just because it's so impressive it grows so fast and it's so much fun especially the uh, what I have out here is one sweet variety and one uh, popcorn variety um, I hope putting them in such close proximity doesn't um, uh, negatively affect the uh, the sweet corn but uh, it was just the way the numbers worked out I didn't quite, quite plan the seeds well enough so that's why Indian corn ended up back in the um, uh, the regular garden and some sweet corn which is sugar buns I believe is out here Frankie is still complaining but I also wanted to oh hello Benny goodbye bunny see the bunny hi bunny watch for the cottontail there it goes okay um, so here's the fruit 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 the mini orchard is what I call it and I've taken down the um, the uh, fence here because it was just ugly and I didn't like it um, and my peach trees although they are suffering a little bit are uh, showing some peaches and I don't think this is quite an on apple year but I do have plenty of uh, red delicious coming in of course they're green right now um, but I don't think it's going to be a bumper crop I just think there's I'm going to get some and then uh, this is the Granny Smith which also always has a much harder time producing for whatever reason but uh, we do have a couple of those guys coming in and then this sad tilted tree um, I, and I don't know if I'll try to straighten him or not um, is also a peach tree and I've got some nice peaches on here but um, I haven't done any fruit tree spray at all just because I've been you know so consumed with uh, getting everything ready for the the memorial gathering that we had so I'm behind schedule on all my pesticides and stuff so hopefully uh, hopefully we'll get something out of that all right you may be able to see you might not I'll zoom in I'll zoom in there we go there's the boy he is not happy because we're out here I'm coming Frankie but um, um, I think uh, essentially that's gonna do it um, let me just find the right place to come into the garden here and there's Frankie there's Jessie waiting patiently she doesn't complain so much when I go out but Frankie does Frankie does not like to be left inside when the action is outside right boy I don't blame you I know I know it's like why is daddy going out and not taking me with him I'm supposed to go with him he's a good boy all right <clears throat> Uh, this is where I had uh, the uh, poison ivy was getting out of control so um, I actually used Roundup and it took a couple weeks but boy when it finally became effective it just uh, killed everything <laughs> but uh, I don't think it got into that last bed which is idle anyway um, so I'm uh, rambling as usual uh, but it's a lovely evening. It's a very summery, sticky and hot, and uh, we've got a first tropical storm coming up, uh, Arthur, um, uh, which may affect a little bit of the beginning of the Fourth of July. But they're saying right now they're saying it's going to kind of clear out of here uh, in time for the fireworks and stuff. Um, my sisters, which helped me, who helped me so much with getting ready for this memorial gathering. Um, Put this nice arrangement together with uh, the impatience and stuff um, uh, in the tipped wheelbarrow very artsy stuff and uh, 
just uh, just really helped make the place seem uh, homey and nice uh, with more innovative and better ideas than I ever would have had. So, so um, anyway, that was a it was a lovely event. The place looked great for everybody, and uh, it was the biggest family gathering that I have ever hosted. And uh, I loved every minute of it. I just wish I could have been in six places at once at the same time. And uh, it was also a lovely tribute tribute to uh, Patricia. I think everybody uh, enjoyed that portion of it and uh, and the video and stuff. So um, that was June uh, 2014. Um, and that's going to do it for us. Uh, sun's getting ready to set, although it's setting very late these days, obviously, because we're just a little bit past the summer solstice. And um, we got a pretty good garden going. Got some problem areas this year, but uh, that's a little bit to be expected with everything else that was going on. And um, but uh, next month will uh, be, you know, the beginning of the high holy days of gardening. Uh, when the garden is at its peak, and uh, hopefully we'll be doing some harvesting by then. And um, I guess that's it. You know, Fourth of July is just a few days away. Uh, looking forward to that and having some good barbecues out here, and uh, maybe entertaining a little bit. And who knows what else could be exciting. Um, but that's going to do it. This is Marvin Gardens, July, 2014, and. Uh, We'll see you. No, it's not July. Two. Well, okay. All right. Back the truck up. It actually is July 2014 because it's July 1st, but I keep calling it June 31st because this is the June video. So let's try this again. We'll see you next month in July. Or is that what I said the first time? I don't know. I'm losing my mind, okay? I'm sorry. It just happens with age. This is the June Marvin Gardens. 2014 video and we will see you next month quote-unquote in July uh, Until then have a great 4th of July celebration and a great summer and uh, We'll see you next month or this month as the case may be bye y'all